the nuclear doctrine of state of Pakistan, or simply, nuclear doctrine winking face, is a theoretical concept of military strategy that promotes the deterrence by guaranteeing an immediate massive retaliation to an aggressive attack against the state. This doctrine obtained various mathematical models of the game theory. For its effective operational use, it consists of numbers of set of strict principles, rules, regulations, and comprehensive instructions for the operational employment and non-operational employment of atomic weapons and other strategic systems associated with those weapons. Pakistan has a no-first attack policy in place since 1971. This policy was reiterated after the nuclear tests in 1998. Pakistan has vowed never to invade or attack another country under any circumstances. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shamshad Ahmad had warned that if Pakistan is ever invaded or attacked, it will use any weapon in its arsenal to defend itself. Persuasion for effect. The doctrine is divided into four different thresholds before the weapons are being operationally charged during the conventional and nuclear war. With an aggressor state, in an event of war, for instance the war between India and Pakistan, the Indian Armed Forces' numerical superiority and large stock of conventional armory and weaponry is most likely to overwhelm Pakistan. Therefore, in a deteriorating situation, when an Indian military aggression is more likely to penetrate through Pakistan's defenses which cannot be restored by conventional means, the government would be left with no other option except to use nuclear weapons to stabilize the situation as part of the first strike. The rationale behind the doctrine is to prevent India from any military intervention that would lead to the disintegration of the country, as it did in 1971. The South Asian affairs expert Professor Stephen P. Cohen further elaborates and term the strategy of Pakistan as option-enhancing policy. According to the sources, the doctrine advances and entails a stage-by-stage -stage level of advancement in which the nuclear threat is increased at each step to deter India from attacking, as it is listed below. A public or private warning. A demonstration atomic test of a small atomic device on its own soil. The use of nuclear weapon on Pakistan's soil against foreign attacking forces. The use of nuclear weapon against critical but purely military targets on foreign soil, probably in thinly populated areas in the desert or semi-desert causing the least collateral damage levels of threshold. The doctrine is not the part of the minimum credible deterrence principle of Pakistan. However, the doctrine is integrated the nuclear dimension into its defense principle, according to the sources published by the International Institute for Strategic Studies. The definition of four potential thresholds has been refined in the form of four thresholds which were first mentioned by officials at the Nuclear Command or authority in late 2001. Spatial threshold. The armed and military penetration of Indian armed forces into Pakistan on large scale may elicit a nuclearized massive retaliation, if and only if the Pakistan army is unable to stop such intervention. For instance, many analysts, including some Indians, believe that the Indus Valley, the lifeline of Pakistan, is one of many other red lines that Indian forces should not cross. The capture of key objectives in this crucial northeast-southwest axis might well provoke nuclear retaliation by Pakistan. Military threshold. The complete knockout or comprehensive destruction of a large part of Pakistan armed forces, particularly and most importantly the Pakistan Air Force, could lead to a quick nuclear response if Islamabad believed that it was losing the cohesiveness of its defense and fear imminent defeat. A senior-ranking PAF officer maintained that orders given to PAF are identical to the guidelines given to the NATO commanders during the Cold War crises. 
This criterion is even more important for the Pakistan Armed Forces because of its critical role in maintaining the country's stability. As noted above, an attack on a nuclear installation has also been posited as a threshold. According to PAF this level of threshold also included the chemical or biological weapons attack against Pakistan, would also respond to massive retaliation. Economic threshold This level implicitly and explicitly refers for the countermeasure operations of Pakistan Navy. The economic strangulation and economic blockade is also a potential threat to Pakistan, in which if Pakistan Navy is unable to counter it effectively. This primarily refers to a potential Indian Navy blockade of Sindh province and coastal cities of Balochistan province, or the stopping of the Indus water flow. It could also refer to the capture of vital arteries such as the Indus political threshold. Finally, Pakistan's geo-strategist, game theorists and political strategists and planners suggest that a destabilization of the country by India could also be a nuclear threshold. Islamabad has credible reason to believe that the integrity of the country were at stake. Stated scenarios are political destabilization a large-scale internal destabilization in which if Pakistan Marine are unable to stabilize it, effectively. One example would be encouraging the breakaway of one or more Pakistan's provinces. Alternate substitution. In 1998, Foreign Secretary Shamshad Dharmad that Pakistan's policy implies that it will not only use nuclear weapons in a retaliatory strike, it is also ready to take the lead and use nuclear weapons first to counter Indian conventional aggression.